All right, I'm looking at another weekly Squirtle today. So this is like Wordle on a grid. We're guessing a row and a column at the same time. And the weekly puzzle is a little bit bigger, has extra words. And this eight is how many guesses we have remaining. And if we complete a word and get all five greens, then we get a bonus guess. Um, somebody suggested, I don't know, recently on a Squirtle video that uh, the next time I do a Squirtle, I should try their start. Well, it's not the next time, but Still gonna try it today anyways. Uh, sound, Witch, and Relay. So, why not? Let's do Sound. Ooh, well. Okay, well, a little bit of good and bad. We had a bunch of black letters, but we got a couple of greens, so that was good. Sound, Witch, and Relay. Um, now, we're on the fourth row and column now, and we've got uh, an A in the column, but nothing in the row. Let's see, O and W over here. There is an E. This is probably an E, right? That would make sense. Um, something like, ooh, I was gonna say bench, but there's no N. There could be an L right here. It could be like belch or something, not necessarily B. It could be welch also. No, no W there. There's no U or I in the whole grid, so we don't have very many vowels. E, A, and O. So, since we've got the C here already, maybe it makes sense to try and guess an A there, because the A could be almost anywhere at this point. But, you know, that way we're kind of not wasting a letter on the row, I guess. Because um, we know there's no A on the row, so if we do that... But, ooh, interesting with the C. What's going to come before a C? Because it can't be S. So it almost has to be a vowel, which it's not an A. Be an O. Oh, it's got to be O or E. O. Um, there is an O in that column there. So is there something O A? We could do O A something. Um, o A T. No, we know there's no. Oh, there could be a T here though. Yeah, because this could be. Um, this could be something like. Oh, it can't be octal. Oh, it could maybe be octet. Octet would be good. So we could do O A T E O. Odor is odor a word? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. So I think it's going to be octet. That was really good. Okay, so uh, yeah, octet. Probably this is. Oh, there's a T up here. So, ta taper could be taper. Uh, we could have an A here, something like, uh, but we can't have an S at the end, or an E, hmm, I don't know, maybe not a P, uh, it could be something like Taker, or, or Tamer, okay, so there's a lot of things that could be. I think A here is pretty good with an E down there. I like that. So this would be what? Ooh, there's a W. Where is good. T E is good there. O W isn't too bad there. Could be something like in no, no. Oh, oh. Allow and llama, which works with tamer. Yeah, that's really good. And then, uh, a bait? And, uh, can't be innate. Elate? Elate and legal and a gate. Yeah. Yeah, that works. All right, let's, let's try elate. Okay. I think that could be it then. So let's do, um, so should we just do the columns? Allow. Belch, um, ooh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Belch, a gate, and tamer, there we go, all right, cool. Well, like usual, a little slow at the beginning, and then it all kind of fell together. There you go, a bait, legal, llama, octet, where, allow, belch, a gate, tamer, and elate. Interesting with the llama in there with the double L and the double L and allow as well. So 
Interesting one this week, so there you go. Let me know how you did with this weekly Squirtle, and if you had a hard time thinking of llama, or allow, or if you had a different word that you had a hard time with, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Part of a water system that flows from right here at Lake Okeechobee in central Florida out to the Gulf of Mexico. The name Okeechobee. Okay. So not, not Africa, but Northeast. Okay, so we're in the Middle East then, probably. Because it is pretty warm. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. It's not because the A is at the end. Uh, it's going to be extra. Uh, oh, and oxide. We would have had the X from oxide.